Hey, Justin. How the heck are you? It's Friday. It's Friday morning. We're going even earlier. We got our coffees. We're ready to roll. roll. I want to talk about pro builder inspections, those, those inspections that yeah. you do. But I want you to tell me, let's get down to it today, the nitty gritty. Let's get down to those disastrous stories that you walk into in somebody's home and you're like, yeah, you, you can't put duct tape there. You know, you can't you can't put 26 screws right there. Like, talk to me about the nightmares and why it's so important that people, you know, take your advice and get get the situation rectified. Right. Yeah. Good morning, David. No, it's um, it, 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 we are a bit earlier, uh, you know, because the sun is coming up. Uh, at a decent hour now, so I need to get out of the house a lot earlier. But um, but yeah, it, it is. Uh, I mean, it's this is we're into getting into my twenty fourth season of, of doing this in life, <laughs> and uh, and we've we've come across, <laughs> I mean, all kinds of stuff right? like mild to wild. But I mean, there's a couple of <laughs> there's a couple of things that that sort of come to mind. Um, you know, and one that always sticks out to me, and it's not, it's not a wild one, but, uh, but it is wild. So the, the, uh, I, I had a homeowner that was again, trying to do a, his own little, uh, fix up for sale. And he was advised by actually the realtor that I use, um, to get us in and, you know, patch walls. And, you know, it was basically a patch and paint that that's what it was. I mean, the, the house was, it was only ever going to be as good as it was, but I mean, you know, let's close up the holes and, and whatnot. So I gave him a quote on the, on the patch and paint. I mean, I think it was for $2,000 or something like that. I mean, it was nothing major. Uh, we had to, we had to patch about 13, 14 holes. A couple of them were decent <laughs> size and, uh, and then repaint. So the homeowner decides, this is an older, older fellow. And he says, you know what? I, I'm going to do the patching. Maybe you guys can come and do the paint. I said, all right. And so, you know, I leave him for a week and I said, okay, I said, okay, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to be there the following Monday. And, and I said, we'll, we'll blast this room out, get a painting. We get back there and it's almost like the wall was like a ripples potato chip. So what, <laughs> what, he, what he had done is, and I, so this is not the first time I've seen this, but, on, but he did it on a very large scale. So he went and he bought a tub of mud and, uh, but what he had done is he had layered, he had coated newspapers. Oh, yeah. Really? With the mud and laid it, laid it over the holes, just stuck them to the wall and then just kept coating them with, with mud. And, <laughs> and he's like, you know, and it sanded it back a little bit and it was, you know, it was, it was, it was really rough. Like, I mean, it was rippled. Right. And, uh, and I'm like, John, like, I'm like, okay, you close. I, was, I said, you want me to paint over that? And he's like, yeah, no, that's good. And I'm like, I, I don't think it's good, but we can paint it if you like. I, I just think we're wasting paint. And sure enough, you know, we, you know, he, he wanted to paint it. Sure enough, uh, we start rolling it. And the second the paint hits it, the, the newspaper just rolls off on the roller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so I you know inevitably we, we had a budget tape job. It ended it ended up costing them twenty five hundred dollars because we were we had to do it twice, right? Uh, things like that. Um, I the, the other the other big one that was actually ended up costing, was he was was he just thinking it was like nineteen twenty? Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> like I, how like remember I'm just, uh, the old days, right? You never news, know. I mean, in in older early nineteen hundred houses, I see newspaper patches. Um, in plaster and lath all the time, but it's as a filler. So they they pack the wall with with uh, newspaper to build it out, and then they put a plaster coat over yeah. front, which is you know not amazing, but it, it did work. But this guy actually newspaper yeah. as a patch. Yeah. That's what... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it a good quality Toronto star? Yeah, was it was it? the sun. It was the sun. Yeah. It was the sun. Yeah. Of course, you seen the Sunshine Girls, didn't you? Page, I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, what's your other story? <laughs> and the other, the other one that ended up, uh, unfortunately, uh, costing this guy like, and it was another, it was another uh, prep for sale. Uh, we had done a bunch of stuff to uh, sort out the kitchen, so we resprayed. 
Uh, we resprayed all his cabinets and put new hardware on it. Uh, he did a lot of the painting and all that kind of stuff himself. Um, he, he did uh, want to, so he was putting a few new appliances in there. Um, Cause it was suggest like the, the, his appliances were rough. And so he, he went on Kijiji and, and found some used appliances and just to dress it up. So he finds this dishwasher, which appeared to be quite good. Uh, and he said, you know, I, you know, I got it for 30 bucks. I'm like, Oh my God. Okay. That's, that's amazing. So he's like, no, he's like, the only problem is it is the drain line's been cut. I said, all right, well, uh, it's, you know, it's a Bosch part. So you're going to have to call Bosch and get the, get the drain line because it's integrated on those dishwashers and, uh, and fix it up anyway. So he did not, uh, it had a little stub of the original drain was still hanging out. So he, <laughs> he decided, and this is, this goes back to your, your lead in is, so he decided to grab, uh, like, a length of garden hose, which is a similar diameter. It is not the same diameter, but it's a similar diameter. No. Uh, and he sleeved it in to the other one, put a hose clamp on it, and duct taped it around. Ran that ran the uh ran the piece of garden hose into the into into mm-hmm. sorry, no, no, this is yeah, into the drain inside the cabinet, I'm sorry. And um and then took a pole saw and just drilled into the drain and stuck it in and then put plumber's putty around it. So, <laughs> I mean, a dishwasher pump is not that heavy duty, but it's, but. it's enough pressure there. I mean, it's more than your, your house tap pressure. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so, <laughs> so this, he thought this was such a, an amazing thing that he, he was basically into this dishwasher for 35 bucks and it looked like a box, right? right. Um, puts the dish. He puts the dishwasher on. Goes to sleep at night. <laughs> Long story short, his basement was no longer finished. <laughs> he uh, he ended up. It ended up pumping a whole load through the ceiling of his finished basement, uh, and he never knew. So not only did he not get to list on time, he had to do an claim. We didn't. We didn't fix it. I mean, it was a. It was a. You know, restoration company that did it. But. Um, but yeah, it almost. You know, almost ninety percent of the of his living room down there, all the ceiling had collapsed by the morning. Right. It's just. It, I get it, that you're trying to save money, <laughs> but just you know, I can just envision that in the morning, right? And we're laughing. Not- Sorry, folks. We shouldn't be laughing at somebody else's. But I mean, again, that's why we're talking about what yeah. you do, Pro Builder yeah. Inspector. You know, you would come in and say, "Yeah, we're not doing that, <laughs> right?" Like this is yeah. common sense, dude. You can't do that. But that gives you an idea. Those yeah. two little stories give you an idea of how important it is right. to do it right the first time. Yeah. And don't well, like, you, like they, you said, the, di- well, the both the, these the, things would have worked, yeah. I, you know, in some world. But um, but for what for what the both these <clears> folks were trying to achieve. Um, I mean, it, it really, it, they were only into a, a couple hundred dollars difference for, for what they attempted on their own. And, uh, you know, they, and they ended up spending three, four times. And that's, that's the whole point of, of having, of having somebody come in and, and look, you know, it might cost you 30, 40, 50, even 200 bucks to get these things expected if it was like, you know, larger structural items or whatnot. But I mean, the, the, the end game money that comes back to you or a safe is is well worth it right and i know there's some aspects of that like you said when you go into inspect there's some things that you just won't see oh, the hidden walls that you know but like you said usually with your 24 years experience you're going to have an idea like when the house was built yep. what's in there you know how old that piping is what the quality of water is like so you have these indicators that right. are already there so that your crew or you can make make a call and say well this is something that might be a concern to you yep. right and I think, that, like, can you, especially when you're reselling, such, I mean, you got to, you know, it's got to be up to snuff. You don't want somebody coming back on you down the road because you freaking used a garden hose on your dishwasher. <laughs> Even I would know that. Well, Even I would go, yeah, this this isn't going to work for I me. I think they know. It's just, you know, like, like hey, in, in a pinch, I've used a garden hose for a lot of stuff. But, but yeah, oh, um, yeah. 
but you know, it, it, I've I've even I've even uh, patched up rad rad lines in a, in in my old Civic bought with yeah. the garden hose. Yeah, right. I mean, if, if you got to get home, you got to get home. But I mean, it's not something that you that you for certainly I wouldn't be going to sleep with the dishwasher. Around. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you one story that'll make you laugh. I, uh, my first house I bought, I had an Australian Husky right. and a great dog, unbelievable, smart dog. And, uh, I had to go somewhere and I was in a rush and I threw yep. him in the garage, not thinking, just put the dog in the garage. Cause I'll be back in an hour, blah, blah. It turns into four. three hours, right? Three or four hours. Dog got pissed off. Sorry about the language. The dog got upset and he chewed a tap. <laughs> Yeah, chewed it and it turned on. And when you said the yep. flooded basement, I just remember walking into my basement and it's yep. just raining and the tiles are. And folks, that's not something because it's the restoration process on that alone is yeah, crazy. Yeah, water, right? to get everything I, to I dry I out. Like, I would rather clean up fire than than water. It, yeah, you yeah, did say it that. It is like you know, provided fire didn't, didn't take the whole thing away. But you know, I'd rather clean up a little bit of smoke damage um then then do water any day i mean water just like sucks when it's inside and then it was I, when we sold that house and i do remember the person saying was there any water damage and i'm like uh <laughs> right because you want to yeah. be honest you know yes there was here was the problem here's what happened here's right. how it was fixed and they did a great job i mean the guys i had at that time that did yeah. it were phenomenal but it was just one of those yeah. nightmares like you said right and it, i mean that's not a do it yourself or I mean, I'm sure I would have tried to right. fix it myself somehow, right? But I think, at, you know, the end of the day it was making sure that tap had another turn off on yeah. it, right? Yeah, secondary. Yeah, yeah. no, no. I, yeah, but, it, but, it, it, it very, very rarely becomes some of these Bob Job fixes uh, become worth their while. And not only that, I mean, you know, these guys probably spent three, four, five, six hours, you know, trying to save $27. Uh, yeah, and and you know, and this and this is what it turns into. I mean, yeah, I mean, tens of thousands of dollars. Well, come on, you and I both know the scenario that happens. These guys are trying to save twenty seven dollars, and their wife's saying to them, "No, <laughs> you know, we should get." It's like, no, no, I got. You know, we all do it. I got this. I got this. Right? That's that's yep. our thing yep. to think we can. You know, it, it's our manliness oh, I, coming out, I, right? And then they make it ten yeah. times worse. And then they then you hear, "I told you so." I, I told no, and we so. don't want to hear that. No, we do not want to hear that. So, guys, here's some yeah. strong advice from two happily married yeah. men for a number of years. Yeah, listen, just listen yeah. and do it that way. The Don't first know time, what, then yeah, you. we'll come in and tell you what's what, and, and we can tell you quietly yeah. so that you look better. Yeah. So, give me some quick information. I know you got to get to work on Pro Builder. Like, um, they can go to your website. You got a great website. Check it out. Understand how what you can come in and do, right? Because Let's say, like you said, somebody's going to get ready to sell renovations. You need to understand what what walls you can move. Give us a quick yeah, overview. So just very quickly, it's probuilderinspection.ca and um, or probuilderinspection.com. Either either one of them go to the same place. Uh, they uh, so, uh, what I mean. What we do is is it these these are not home inspections. Um, they are exactly how it sounds. They're they're pro builder inspections. So they they tell you the things the inspector won't. So they'll tell you if. You know, if you're looking at buying a place and and you want to, some advice on on the reno, uh, removing walls, ballpark budgeting, um, you know, potential costs on repairs. Uh, if something can be repaired, is the house a teardown? Is it a you know, is it a reno? Um, you know, all all these different things that might that might come up that um, you would typically need an actual you know a contractor to come in and quote on. But a lot of people don't want to get into that when it's just a simple inquiry. Like, I, do I want to buy the house? Do I not want to buy the house? I don't want to have some dude, and, you know, come out, waste his time for a job that may never, ever happen. So, I mean, so, th and this is the nice thing about this is that, you know, it's, it's a flat rate fee. You, you get the info you need to move forward with different decisions, you know, real estate, your own home, um, you know, all these kind of things. I mean, like, there's a lot of, I hate to say it, but there's a lot of dreamers. I mean, there's a lot of people that, you know, watch a show on TV and they look at their own kitchen and be like, I wonder if I could do that. But do am I actually going to take the leap in getting into doing it? And a lot of people don't take that leap. And sometimes when we go in and we say like, listen, you know, this house is not a great candidate for that. You know, 
they might move. You know, they, they might be like, well, then I right. want to get a house that is a good candidate for that. And, uh, and it, it can go that seat. far, you know, but if you, if, if yeah. you don't do the due diligence on some of that stuff and some people, you know, I've got other horror stories, you know, that we don't have time for today where, you know, people are like, oh yeah, that, that would look great with no wall there. Take the damn wall out. And it was a load bearing one. And build a whole well, kitchen yeah. underneath it. And then, you know, very quickly, I, I had one in Simcoe that I actually, it was, you know, they had taken out the wall uh, themselves to put this fantastic kitchen in, which was contracted separately. And three months later, uh, the lady phoned a friend of mine that phoned me that because she was, you know, basically beside, you know, crying. And that her ceiling was smiling at her you know, over four and a half inches after a big rainstorm. And it was, and so I booted it down there and I went in the attic. I'm like, you took out the main one in the house, the main, like you took out the main beam. Yeah. Support, and I said, yeah. it's, this is going to come in on you and it's going to ruin every part of your kitchen. I said, you can't, you can't be in there. Sure enough. And you know, when I, I looked a bit further is that the actual, I mean, this was a 1928 house, uh, the rafters had started to, to break, right? Like it, it was not like they were bowing. They, they started. To, they were breaking. I'm like, wow. you got to get out of here, Mrs. Like this, is, this is coming down. So, you know, temporary shoring, all the rest of that. And, and, uh, and unfortunately, uh, she got into a real, a real bad situation because the insurance is like, no way. You know, they, they, yeah. Yep. You took it. So out. she ended up selling it. She's moved out. She sold it as an, as his house. She took a hit of one hundred and thirty thousand dollars off her purchase price, and you know that's something you, you and I we got to do a show on because the insurance factor in oh, yeah. all this stuff, right? It yeah. can get crazy, and that's another reason to have you come in beforehand and just take a look at these situations. Because, and when you said about the other kitchen too, one thing I wanted to bring up is maybe this is their dream kitchen, but you have enough experience to go. Have you yeah. considered this? Yeah, right. And I think a lot of people get locked in one way. And then when you show them that there's an alternative to get close to what they want, then they're like more receptive. And if it saves right. them a bit more money, right? Everybody wants oh, to yeah. save, like yeah. you said, the $27, yeah. right? It's, you know, you, you got to make that decision on your home. It's, I always, and it, it takes a while. I get that for guys to understand. It's an investment, yeah. guys. You know what I mean? Don't yeah. cut corners on it. Keep it as solid as yeah. you can, right? It's like a marriage. Keep it as solid as you can. Every time I cut corners in mine, I get in trouble. Well, there you go. Don't forget those birthdays or anniversaries yep. or no, but I mean, that's, I mean, we're just having fun folks. No, we're I, not, you know, we're both, like I said earlier, we're both happily married, but I mean, it's just kind of those things to you're, listen to your partner too, because that's another perception that, you know, it, it, there is, there's a 50, 50, and, but you, you want to make those right decisions, especially when you're getting ready to sell it or do a renovation, like give Justin a call. He'll tell you an, a, an, an interesting story behind some other scenario. And then you can, I got them all. Yeah, you try to hit me with any of them. I I probably got a I probably got a rebuttal story of some nightmare <laughs> that we found, right? But not just a building inspect not sorry, a home inspe uh, pro I, builder inspections. Not just that, a therapist as well, folks. Yep. And <laughs> I, a little bit of advice. Do not send your wife virtual flowers. It's not the same thing. <laughs> okay. It, just because you're so busy and you don't have time to go to the florist, it it, it they don't take it the same way. <laughs> they no, don't take I, it the same way. And I, I know you, so you went, hey, it's the it, thought it, that it, counts. That was <laughs> that was what I was running off of. It didn't work. <laughs> so anyway, and that's why he has a bunkie <laughs> in his backyard, folks. No, I'm yeah. teasing. <laughs> All right. Look, a lot of fun. I gotta let you go to work. But again, I just, you know, that information is so critical. And I, I thanks for doing this and having some fun with it because you know, I think every guy knows internally we've did those cut the corner jobs that we shouldn't have. So this is just a nice reminder to let us know that you're saying, hey, dude, clean it up. Do it right. Get me in there. All right. No problem. <laughs> Take care. See you later.